with the rack in then my really awesome deck I point one at you and not tell it to attack I'm damaging good but oh don't be mad I just get all my prizes fast like that And when I'm up against lightning they just can zap I'm running all over them and they can't come back Tornado ZX wants to stop us so we snap I guess we have to figure out something to do with that Maybe Mewtwo can help us to make it dead If Tornadus doesn't lose its energies after its attack Cause otherwise Expo will be quite bad We have to lure them out and let them fall into a trap We all know that there isn't a single gap Between the power of the current meta decks This one might be slower than the rest It's true, but the one that has a weakness will be you I'm not bad, someone lied I got a crowd on in my deck uh, I got the racket in my deck. Ha. I got Mewtwo in my deck. Yeah. Making my deck like I'm preparing for worlds. Using fighting, I hit the weakness where it hurts. Cause if I quit today, will you remember me? Who will give you advice when you have problems you see? What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo's T-shirt here, and in this episode, we'll be looking at a Terrakion crowd on Zacklist. This deck is an updated version of the solo Terrakion deck back in the days of Next Destinies when it was uh, full of eels in every tournament and it still uses the same XP share style of playing just uh, yeah, attach an energy uh, to your active Terrakion, use XP share on a bench Terrakion or something and just when the Terrakion is knocked out you can just uh, move around the energy like that it's just a great uh, way to play with this deck and uh, yeah, out of the two top decks uh, are Darkness and Lightning it shouldn't be that hard for this deck to counter those and Groudon can even knock out Tanamos with its first attack so that's great and I can also spread around damage with that Trump attack, it's just great to have that extra 10 damage on each, every Pokemon on your opponent's side of the field. And uh, yeah, let us check out the deck list right now. As you see, the deck still runs 4 Terrakion, which is just obvious because Retaliate is still really powerful in this kind of format when uh, there are a lot of Dark Rise, Zoroarks, Electric, Sundresses out there. You can just knock out everything in your way with Retaliate once there's a uh, Terrakion knocked out or something. And uh, then we have Groudon EX, a new EX from Dark Explorers, which uh, is actually really good. It has uh, resistance to lightning, which will help you uh, incredibly well against uh, lightning matchups and stuff. If that uh, doesn't already ha help you enough with Terrakion. And uh, yeah, it also has an attack Giant Claw, which deals 80 damage for 3 energies. But uh, if uh, your opponent already has 2 or more damage counters on it, it deals 120 damage instead. For those of you that didn't know already, a powerful attack and can just uh, get your prizes really fast. And then we have Mewtwo EX, which is in this deck as well, because uh, this matchup uh, against Mewtwo EX is actually quite bad. Terrakion loses uh, often against uh, Mewtwo EX, that's why there's one Mewtwo EX in this deck, and uh, since this deck also runs Revive, it shouldn't be that hard to uh, counter those Mewtwo EXs, and uh, maybe Tornadus EX as well. Mewtwo EX is still powerful, as I said in the previous episode, and uh, yeah, it's uh, in this deck as well. And uh, now let's go on to the energies. There are a total of 12 energies in this deck, we have uh, 9 uh, fighting energies and then 2 DCE and um, uh, rescue energy. The rescue energy is in, is in here just because when you don't have revive and you just want to have uh, your Terrakion back in your hand or something, it's just a great card and it uh, provides an energy as well. So uh, yeah, with that around, we also have uh, 2 uh, DCEs for Mewtwo EX of course and uh, the, uh, the 9 uh, fighting energies are just for Groudon and Terrakion. Just a pretty uh, obvious uh, amount of energies right here. And uh, now let's go on to the supporters and the items and slash tool cards. There are no stadium cards in this deck, uh, which is uh, just uh, as expected. You can't just uh, play Sky or Bridge in this deck because uh, your Pokemon have a retreat cost of 4. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, we have 4 Juniper in this deck. Uh, Juniper is becoming a standard in every deck because it's just so fast. The fastest supporter we have at the moment. And uh, then we have uh, 3 uh, Professor Oak's new theory to refresh your hand uh, when it's really necessary. And then we have N. We play 4 of those just because our deck uh, usually fall behind in, uh, in uh, the prize race. Uh, when you start, you just are uh, really slow. And you can always set up uh, uh, later on. And you, when you play N, your opponent will have a, a low hand size. And that's uh, pretty great. That's why we run 4 N in this deck. Then 2 random receivers. I really like playing with random receiver. That's why I play 2 in those uh, or in this deck as well. Because uh, when you don't have a support and you uh, use a uh, random receiver, once you can just junk arm for it and you uh, just uh, manage to stay in the game that way and uh, then we have uh, of course the four xp shares uh, just uh, this deck runs on xp share if uh, one of your pokemon gets knocked out the fighting energies goes to the ones uh, on the bench with xp share great uh, card all around for this deck 
and that's uh, usually the only deck that uses XP share at the moment. And uh, next we have Evil Light, just for a Mewtwo EX. Just uh, imagine yourself when you have a Mewtwo EX and an Evil Light, and uh, Tornado EX just goes crazy with his attack, uh, dealing 100 damage. Uh, then he would only deal 80 damage, and he'd have to attack three times if he doesn't run plus power. So that's why Evil Light is in this deck. Or uh, maybe when uh, you want to give it to Terrakion or something in certain cases. And next we have Revive, of course, to uh, get those Pokemon back out of the this, this pal. Because uh, once you run out of a Pokemon, it's just uh, pr pretty bad for this deck. But uh, now we have a Grad on the X, uh, your uh, Pokemon amount is still uh, safe. And uh, next we have uh, four Junk Arms, a standard in every deck. And uh, to get back all the item cards, all the su uh, not supporters, uh, I mean the tool cards. And uh, the good stuff like that, like uh, you want to get back uh, XP shares, switches, catchers and plus powers mainly or maybe the lost removers but I'll talk about those in a second uh, next we have four catchers which is absolutely necessary in this deck because you want to get those cheap prize cards as fast as you can with your first attack of Grad on the X, Mewtwo EX or uh, Grad on the X just uh, to get those Tynamos out of the way, catcher someone and just knock it out before it can evolve into electric. Just the same with Zorua, when you can knock it out before it goes to Zoroark, you'll be in a better shape uh, than you were before. And uh, then we have uh, three switches, which is just needed in this deck as well, because all the Pokemon you have are have a retreat cost of four, and uh, except for Mewtwo EX, but uh, yeah, you definitely need three switches. Uh, just imagine yourself when you start with Crowd on the X, just terrible, just go with Switch and um, put that Terrakion on the active spot for now. Uh, unless you want to take, uh, or uh, you want your opponent to take two prize cards, that's just insane, that's why you want to run Switch when you have a bad start. And next we have uh, three plus powers, which is uh, really great in this deck. Just uh, get that extra 10 damage, it's uh, always necessary when you're up against a Pokemon with Eviolite. As I said, Terrakion can't knock out uh, Raikou EX with an Eviolite, that's why you need a plus power. And um, next we have a Lost Remover, this is absolutely great if you're up against Tornadus EX, because usually Tornadus EX runs on DCE, and uh, yeah, they totally destroy your fighting Pokemon, but when you have Lost Remover, they'll be in a tough situation and you'll be uh, yeah in a good situation to win this battle and uh, next we have a uh, four heavy balls just your search engine to get out your Pokemon yeah every Pokemon you have have a retreat cost of four except Mewtwo EX but uh, you'll just have to be lucky enough to get that Mewtwo EX in time uh, but with Juniper it shouldn't be that hard just uh, use Juniper turn after turn when you really need it and uh, next we have super scoop up uh, this is just for the cases when uh, your Grad on the X has a uh, one HP remaining or something just uh, it's almost knocked out you just want to use super scoop up sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't, but yeah, just a risky card, but uh, if it works, it'll be definitely helpful in uh, most situations. And uh, aside to that, this, uh, this is it for this deck analysis. I hope you enjoyed it once again. And uh, now let's go on to Poke News. There's a ton of news available at Poke Beach that isn't about the trading card game. So if you're interested, you should uh, check it out if you haven't already. It's about Black and White 2 and uh, the anime and more stuff like that. But on my list, we have uh, the two new EXs. Black Kyurem EX and White Kyurem EX. Both cards resemble Reshiram and Zekrom EX because the attack cost is the exact same and uh, the damage output is uh, the same as well. They also have a nice HP of uh, 180 and a bad retreat cost of 3. Aside to that, they're pretty epic and uh, yeah, let's start off with Black Kyurem EX first. For a Lightning and a DCE, it deals uh, 60 damage and you can flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. And that's a neat attack uh, to have in certain situations when you have to stall a bit or just have to uh, paralyze your opponent for some reason. Uh, his second attack however deals a maximum amount of uh, 150 damage the only downside is that you can use it on your next turn uh, but uh, we can easily overwork this effect if you switch it back to the bench or something and uh, the attack cost is uh, water two lightning and a Carlos energy which means you will have to play a deck with uh, either prism energies in it or a dual type deck uh, running on uh, water and lightning but uh, yeah I prefer prisms for uh, this kind of attack uh, next we have uh, of course the Kyurem uh, the white one uh, white Kyurem EX the first attack it deals 60 damage as well lets you flip a coin if head you can search your discard pile for a basic energy and attach it to this Pokemon so a small energy acceleration for a coin flip is always nice to have and uh, for two fire, uh, one water and a Carlos energy this one deals 150 damage and burns your opponent's Pokemon as well so really devastating attack but uh, the downside is that you have to discard two fire energies attached to this Pokemon which means if you play something uh, like a White Cure MX together with Ambor this will be a really great deck in my opinion and uh, up next I'll be showing you some pictures of a uh, Pokedex 3D Pro it's already uh, out in Japan and it's nice to see some 
the 3D stuff on the DS like that. I really like uh, this uh, kind of uh, stuff because uh, I used to play Colosseum and uh, XD uh, back in the days uh, of the GameCube uh, era. And uh, yeah, now let's go on to some other updates in the anime section this time. So uh, totally check out on uh, PokeBeach.com if you're interested. It's about a new season that revolves around a new main character and rivals and stuff like that. And also a new Pokemon. And uh, up next, there's uh, also news about the video game, Black and White 2. We've been waiting for it for a couple of uh, months now. And uh, there are already screenshots out. And many gamers will definitely enjoy this new game because it will be the same style. Having six Pokemon carrying around, uh, battling gym leaders and stuff like that. Going to the Elite Four. Yeah, pretty epic. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up once again for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. You know, I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or epic new song ideas for the intros of my next episode or something like that, the comment section is your place to be. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet and you like what I do, then go ahead and do it right now because then you'll see all the latest updates right away. Anyway, this was Sabdurst Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day. Until next time.